the local Turlock podcast. It is February 26th, not 2020. Did I have that same typo last time? We don't want that. We want to say it is the year 2021. Uh, still getting used to that new date, and there, there's not a lot happening. There are not too many uh, crazy, scary stories out there. Let me pull up our notes. So what we're talking about today, as far as the the Turlock news, uh, one of four babies was able, who was in the hospital since December 31st gets to come home. There's uh, they're raising money for a a special needs kid named Easton to get a special bike. There is there was a, a fire happening on Sunday night, and the little girl thought quick and woke up the family, and they uh, you know they came out of it. There is a walnut conference coming up, and then things are uh, on the way up as far as COVID-19. So not a lot of uh, crazy stuff, but let's see what there is to look at and what there is to talk about. So this baby from December 31st, 2020, uh, one of the quad squad, Samuel, finally came home from the doctor's hospital over to Denair. We have... Uh, people are raising a bike, or yeah, ma- raising money for a bike for uh, this guy Easton Geisler, who has uh, palsy, hypertonia, blind. Uh, he's on the autism spectrum, and they uh, they have this trailer here that hooks up to the back of a bike because uh, he loves to go fast. But they are raising money to get a custom bike made for him, and. Uh, that fundraising is at greatbikegiveaway.com slash Easton Geisler. And they were looking for 53 or 4600 bucks, And they already raised it because this has been getting all sorts of uh, attention and donations. So pretty cool, right? 5700 bucks raised for this uh, kid to have his special bike. So that is some good news, right? Uh, so next, there was a house fire over on Fossberg Road over by Christopherson Park there. So what happened on Sunday night uh, in this two-story home, a fire uh, ignited in the garage, spread to the second floor. The young girl heard the sound from the crackling flames and smelled the smoke and quickly woke her mother. They were able to get out of the home as the smoke alarm started going off. The first firefighters to arrive around the attached garage fully engulfed in flames and spreading to the second floor. Uh, And then they rescued two of the family's four cats and extinguished the fire, salvaged multiple personal belongings from the home. The cause of the fire was not immediately known because of all the damage, and they were assisted by the Red Cross. So they more or less came out okay, pretty good, right? Uh, In the uh, Stanislaus County vaccination efforts, uh, we're now at phase 1B, which is for people 50 years and older who work in education and child care, emergency services, and food and agriculture sectors. I'm trying to find where... uh, There's a paywall on this too. All right, so let me try pulling up the news story. And as that's coming up, I guess I'll just show you my notes here. So uh, here's what. So we're in phase one B. Been people fifty years uh, and older. The county was allocated nine thousand vaccines, which is up fifty eight hundred from the previous week. The cases have been dropping at a small but steady rate, and uh, they're I guess they're opening eleven vaccination sites. In the next week to serve the hardest hit areas in the Central Valley, but it is still critical that all residents continue to follow the recommendations to wear a mask, avoid gatherings, wash hands often, stay six feet from others in public places, get tested if exposed, or are experiencing symptoms. Uh, And so here's that news article with some of these, uh, these numbers. And uh, and no matter where you are, like I'm assuming you're in Turlock and in San Luis County, but if you search the name of your county and COVID-19, you can kind of get all the information you need. Like if you're looking for like a vaccine or testing site, instead of being stuck with whatever local like CVS or Rite Aid you have down the street, oh, what's up, Mr. David Calafiore? Local Turlock rules is what they say. And so uh, 
So yeah, we're at phase 1B now, where uh, still not most of us, but if you're over 65, yes, and then if you're over 50 and you're in these uh, sectors, like you're at EMT or something, then here or you're a teacher, then you can uh, get vaccinated. So that is good news to know. And walnut growers are invited to the board's first ever industry conference. If you're involved with the walnut production, uh, that is happening. And uh, so I guess I don't really, I don't know what most of this means, but the uh, walnuts were the seventh ranked commodity in the country with a value of $122 million. Uh, so I guess walnuts are really important, right? And walnuts come from here. So we're important by, by that connection. We have two businesses to mention. One is Lisa's Cookie Jar at 115 South Broadway Avenue. They are closed on Sunday, but open Monday to Saturday. Lisa's Cookie Jar makes the best customized, decorated shortbread cookies for your special occasion. I'm trying to find... I think there's... I don't know. I've only been in there once or twice. I think that's the front door. Let's pull up the Yelp. Um, so Lisa's cookies make great favors for weddings, showers, birthdays, and all types of events. Their specialty flavor is vanilla shortbread cookie decorated using royal icing. They also offer a variety of flavors, including lemon, maple, chocolate, mint, almond, and more. The perfect gift for your loved ones. And then there's... Allison's Cafe, which, is that the old Christina's Coffee? If I can get a, if I can get a Google Street View, why can't, why can't we get a Google Street View on that? Uh, all right, so I, I think it might be the old Christina's Coffee. Let's pull that place up. If you're looking for a great menu selection, nice presentation and overall vibes allison's cafe house interlock is the place to be they offer coffee smoothies energy drinks pastry sandwiches and more yeah it looks like the old christina's coffee just redecorated and they are at uh, 219 west canal drive open seven days a week uh more or less uh, early in the morning until Somewhat late at night, Monday through Saturday, 6 to 7, Sunday, 7 through 6. And then as we wrap up Wind Down, we will talk about how the good old coronavirus is happening. San Luis County surpasses 50,000 cases in less than a year. One moment. So pull this up. Just 15 days short of one year since it first reported a positive coronavirus case, Stanislaus County surpassed its 50,000th on Wednesday, according to the HSA. The county reported 105 more positive test results, bringing the total cases to 50,075, uh, four more deaths, which puts us at 941 since April, but what's good is that the county's healthcare facilities have reported, uh, let's see, healthcare facilities reported 96 patients with confirmed cases, and that's dropped uh, from, uh, that's dropped below 100. Okay, so uh, I guess this whole time it's been 100 and up, now it's finally dipped below 100, so like sort of a good milestone. Uh, but the number of beds fell from 16 to 10. And then a little bit of scary math is that it took 44 days to get from 40,000 to 50,000, but then that was quicker than getting from 20,000 to 400,000. And the county has 400,000 negative test results and then 48,000 people that are uh, presumed recovered. Turlock is at 6,700 or so, and Ceres is at 5,100 or so. So a mix of good news and bad news. And there's not much else happening. So we want to thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. You can visit us at localturlock.com. 
You can email me at turlock at localturlock.com. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash localturlock, where uh, there's, if there's something new that happens that day, we talk about it then. When there's, um, like how we're talking about with the kid with the bike and the, uh, the vaccine updates, there's some other news stories about how uh, the police uh, kind of rescued some dogs from a homeless camp and uh, and yeah, just updates about the, the vaccine rollout to give you optimism but also scare you a little bit at the same time. That is it. We're at localturlock.com. Have a wonderful weekend.